provide your comments. We'd like to hear this. Try to keep it within a few minutes. And uh, once your comments are done, we'll move back to the next slide. Hello, my name is Rena. I'm one of many that demonstrated the peaceful protest at the Crown Plaza Hotel in regards of the Kanika Jenkins um, murder. Kanika Jenkins, 19-year-old, found dead in the Crown Plaza Hotel and found in the freezer. So a few things I wanted to know is regarding the noise ordinance. At one point, it was for 10, at 10 p.m., then all of a sudden it changed at 8 p.m. How did that go about? So comments only, not only questions. Comments, so once I give my comments, is there a way that you all will? You can, you can file a FOIA request. Okay. So then also, too, I just want to express the disrespect that we also was treated with the Rosemont police. The Rosemont police, they were very aggressive towards us, and all we were doing was peacefully protesting, as we have the right to do, is to protest. That, that's a comment. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. No further actions. We are adjourned. Thank you. We are adjourned. Comments only. No questions. Comments only. No questions. And this is all of the. Yes. I'd I rather just, just Rena. Rena, were just you here Rena. at the protest? Yes, I was here at the protest. So you said the disrespect by the police? And yeah, the Rosemont police, they were just, they were very aggressive towards us um, from day one. Mm -hmm. And as I stated, the ordinance, the noise ordinance was 10 p.m., but then all of a sudden, they changed it. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware about the story, but like, it's a cover-up, pretty much. Rosemont, the, the town of Rosemont, the police department, Crown Plaza, they've been covering this murder since day one and so it's like when they have um, they've been having programs and things going on at the Rosemont Theater right across the street it's like they want us to, sh to be quiet they silenced us once those people were released because they don't want the people to know you call it a murder it was a, oh she was murdered I mean I know some people are but yeah it's a murder she was murdered you were a friend of hers or, or no just a concern just a concern human being and are there still protests going on out there? I, I haven't driven by every night, but I know for a while. Well, there, there was, was there was a we we've stopped we stopped for a moment, and then there has been others who uh, come back. And once the pictures were released, I'm not sure have you all seen the pictures mm -hmm. of her body in the freezer? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that really made an uproar, and the people did come back out. First of all, I've never seen a city or a village, I'm sorry, a village where they have released the village itself has released such documentation and their village website, they posted it with pictures of her deceased in the freezer. I mean, I've worked with lawyers and medical teams before, and I graduated from medical school in 2010 from Northwestern, and never during any of my things have I ever seen a city, a village, or something release the picture is like of somebody deceased. Now, why do you think it's a murder? I mean, what evidence or just well, just what for the simple seen? fact, from the get go, from the for the simple fact, from the beginning, when they released the video, the videos were clearly edited. And at first, I mean, they hesitated to even release the videos, but once they did, they released the edited videos. And the kitchen video, it's been documented by a video analysis that the kitchen scene goes to a still frame. There is no pixelation at all available. You can't find any pixelation at all in the video for almost 12 hours after she walks in. It's still, still picture for 12 hours before somebody else walks in. And the fact that her mother came to the hotel at 5 a.m. to look for her daughter, they did not take her seriously. They did not look at the videotapes. If they would have looked at the videotapes sooner, they would have seen her walking into that kitchen, walking back to that freezer, and she might not have died of hypothermia frozen to death. Something could have been done. It does take a while for hypothermia to set into the body, and it was 21 hours before they actually started to investigate and look for her. 
So as for the murder, you as for the murder, obviously they're, 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 see, they're seeing that she walked into that freezer by herself, but it's not on video. So that's what we want to see the the video of her walking into that freezer alone. Okay. And as you see, if you see the the picture of her dead body in the freezer. You could tell it was it was a scuffle. That girl fought for her life. Just the fact her and then she has bruises on her body. Her stomach is bruised. Her lip is bruised. Dirt looks like her, her clothes are filthy. Like she's missing a whole shoe and a sock. So she there's no way. And with the she gym didn't shoes, have socks on. No, she didn't have socks on. The gym shoes in the freezer with her, but. And even if she was using it to pound onto the door, all you have to do is press those buttons. I don't know if you've ever been in a freezer. All you have to do is press that button and the door pops back open. I believe she was locked into that freezer. And the fact that it took that long for the Crown Plaza Hotel to analyze their video, their security video, to go and look for her. What's your name? Jen. J-E-N. J-E-N. Last name? LaRue. L-A. Capital R U E. Are you in yes. Chicago? I'm sorry? You live in Chicago? Yes. Okay. And um, I know you said you didn't want your last name used, just to make sure we have your first name. Just Rena, R I N A. R I N A. Yes. And can we have your name? Uh, Chris Place with the Daily Hero. Daily Hero. Okay. And um, also Chicago resident? Aurora. Aurora. Okay. Yes. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Take care.